that well like i said in the previous video and like you saw i am fishing on millbrook again i'm in peg 11 this time and there's only four people on the whole lake these three days um there's a guy in peg one there's a guy in peg two and there's another person in peg five and then obviously i'm in peg 11. the likely areas which i'm thinking if nothing happens here and then i start seeing fish on the back of the wind i might make a move to peg seven or eight but i'm not sure yet so i'll have to wait and see what happens here today the sun the reason why i'm in peg 11 is because of the sun really it's we've got a cold breeze southwesterly blowing down this end and the sun when it comes through the clouds is quite warm so what i was thinking is this side gets warmer first in the day so i'm thinking that during the day though the fish will sort of move on this side first and get onto this side first because it is warmer um so yeah my rods went out at about half 10 they both went out perfectly fine on the previous spots that i found last time i was fishing on this peg obviously i put the marker rod out with a lead on first just to see if anything's changed which it hadn't to be honest so i'm fishing on the marginal slope towards the island and then i'm fishing in the middle of in open water in the middle which i'll show you um i'll spin the camera around in a minute and i'll show you where exactly i'm fishing but yeah the rods are out I've just had a bacon sandwich and a sausage sandwich, so time will tell now. They've allowed maggots now because it's getting into the colder month, so maggots are unbanned, as you say. Um, so what I've done is I've spotted three spoms of maggots out, but not just pure maggots brought the the house pellets that they sell here at Millbrook and I've also put a few boilies in there as my thinking is apparently there's a lot of perch in here so what I'm thinking if the perch come in and um and start chomping through all my maggots I'll still have some pellets and some boilies around my hook bait as attraction so that should be I shouldn't just be wiped clean out from the perch. There's fish been coming out of peg 11, but not the last session, the session before that was on here. Um, so a week ago today, through these days, they've had a couple of fish out of peg 11. Bro, it's just a waiting game now. Like I say, my rods are out. Um, my bait's in, my rods are out. So it's just, waiting to see what happens on my left hand rod it's starting to rain on my left hand rod i've put a medusa rig so i've done a northern special pop up one of the yellow ones and then i've put 10 maggots on top tied them off and just put that out and but then on my right hand rod i've not done that and if you watch my previous video, you know that I had my fish on a solid bag on a pink Northern Special Dunbar Wafty. So what I've done is I've just put a Northern Special Pink Wafter out on a D-Rig. No maggots on top, but what I have done is I've put a PVA mesh bag of pallets and some maggots. Just to add an extra, a little bit of attraction around my hook bait. So hopefully that'll do the business but if not like I say i will chop and change and find something that will uh, hopefully i'll find something that the fish fancy maybe dark baits maybe white who knows but i'll have to wait and see to see what happens obviously um but yeah 
I will spin the camera around now and I'll show you where exactly my rods are. So my left hand rod is just off the edge of that bush there, just above my fingertip now. And then my right hand rod is towards that willow, in line with that willow and in line with them poles on the island. So it's in the middle of the channel. So if anything's passing through, then hopefully they'll come to my bait and my Northern Special Wafter, pick it up, and then hopefully I'll get a fish. But yeah, thought I'd mention. I've got some new alarms as well, the Fox MXs. And also, I've got a new brand spanker bivvy. That's the Fox Frontier. So, hopefully, one of these bad boys goes. I know my pod's a bit wonky. I should probably sort it out. Um, but yeah, hopefully, one of these will go. And hopefully, it's a big fish. And hopefully, I can catch a new PB. The sky has turned very dark. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to head into my bivvy in a minute when it starts raining and probably just take cover from the rain from a, for a bit and then come back out when it decides it's gonna pass. So yeah, I'll uh, keep you updated on what happens and then when I bring my rods in, I'll uh, show you what's going on rig-wise and what I'm doing. So I'll speak to you later. See you guys. Right, well, it's gone dark now. Um, refreshing the rods, redid the hoop baits and retopped the left hand rods maggots with some new lively ones, put them on, um, changed the hoop bait on the right rod as well to a new hoop bait and put it back out on the spot. I've had nothing throughout the day so I'm just hoping that something will come and take anything just start chomping through my loose offerings and then get to my hook bait eventually through the night and if not tomorrow morning um just making myself a cup of tea right now um i've had my dinner so yeah just sat in my baby now because it's a bit a bit cold outside so just sat in my baby just waiting see if anything happens throughout the night and hopefully it does I didn't manage to get it. I didn't manage to get the chance to show you uh, the rigs that I'm using as it was going dark pretty quick when I was redoing the rods so I just got them out there um, before sunset um, so they were fishing effectively through pretty much the majority of the night um, so what I'll do is I'll show you the rigs tomorrow morning when I refresh them for the day, like I said, there might be a move on the cards. When I bring the rods in in the morning, if nothing's happened, I might go have a wander down to peg seven and eight. Might go see what's happening down there, and I could move potentially um, if there's fish in the area. But I don't think anybody's caught yet on the lake, so it's just. Like I said earlier, it's just a waiting game. So what I'll do is I'll make myself a nice cup of tea, probably eat some shit. And then who knows, might get awoken tonight by a angry carp or might not. So we'll just see what tonight brings us. Last night was a full moon. This doesn't really help tonight, but yeah, last night was a full moon. So hopefully fish are on the move a bit more and hopefully I can get myself on so I'll bring you back if anything happens and yeah hopefully I can get some video of it so I'll do that I'll bring you back if anything happens right well as I said last night I said I might move up to peg eight and see what's happening up here as there's no wind and it's calm and I've managed to get myself a fish. So I'll video it in the net. 
now and then I will um oh, I'll video it in the net and then I'll get it out for the pictures and whatnot. So I will show you the fish now. Oh I'm excited, it's the first fish that's come off. So hopefully it's it's a decent size one. It's got a quite a thick body. It's a mirror. And then I'll show you what it's got in its mouth when it's out of the water. Right, well, instead of movers on the cards and it definitely was, and I did do it, and I'm glad I have, because I put a yellow pop-up on a Ronnie rig, topped with a few maggots, on a Medusa rig, into peg eight. Calm down, buddy. And then this beast, Picked me up and I've landed it. I haven't weighed the fish yet, but I am going to in a second. I'm gonna just get some pictures and a quick video. Of the fish. Calm down. Calm down. Looks like quite a good fish. Can't tell by the depth. Well, from the video, I should say. But it's quite a nice fish. So, what I'll do is I'll ring the bailiff. I'll get him to come down and uh, do me some pictures and then we'll wait while the bailiff's here. Right, well, the bailiff come, did me some pictures, did me absolutely banging pictures, did the justice, all the fish, it did the fish, all the justice it deserved and we weighed it and come back it's 27 pounds 7 ounces so it's actually bigger than my previous fish so it's another pb caught from millbrook absolutely buzzing with that result happy as i can be it's amazing the fact that right well on the back of the wind in peg eight, I managed to get myself one. The baby come round and did the fish absolute justice with the pictures that he's taken for me. We weighed it and zeroed the sling and it come back as 27 pounds, seven ounces. So it's actually bigger than my previous fish, which was 27 on the nose. So that's two PBs caught from Millbrook and I've caught a PB every time that I've fished here so far because I caught my PB last time which was the first time ever coming and this time I've caught another PB so it's an absolute result and I'm going to get the rod back out now and um, hopefully catch myself some more so I'll bring you back later and I'll insert pictures now right well this is the rig that's been doing the business it's just a simple ronnie rig with a 10 mil yellow pop-up and a couple of maggots to top it off and i'll put that back out on the spot and then hopefully i can catch myself another fish right well it's gone dark again now i haven't had much chance to do much filming today to be honest I mean I've done the odd the odd few bits when I had the fish and whatnot 
but I haven't done as much as I normally would. As I've just been chatting to uh, to the guy that come in the peg next to me for a couple of hours. So I was in peg eight and he was in peg seven. So I've just been chatting to him. Um, but yeah, nothing after that one fish. So what I've done is I've moved back down to my original peg, peg 11, put my rods a bit shorter this time. I've put them about a foot, eh, not a foot, sorry, a rod length off the island um, from where my spot was. And then also a couple of rod lengths short of the spot in the middle on my right hand rod. Um, because I was getting liners on both of them, and the my line's pretty much pinned down to the floor because it's fluorocarbon. So what I thought was the fish coming in a bit bit closer in. So obviously I just thought oh, I'll put them in a little bit shorter with a PVA mesh bag of maggots. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Nothing as of yet though, but what I'm gonna do tomorrow morning, again, I'm going to uh, reel in about half past nine and I'm going to go down to peg eight again and I'm going to try my luck there. Um, I am jumping off of Millbrook a bit earlier than I would like to and that I normally would. Um, so yeah, but I'll be having my bucket tomorrow because I thought I'm not having it today. Not having it today, getting all my clothes wet and things. I'll have it when I leave. So, a video of me getting a bucket will be coming tomorrow just before I leave. So, I'll uh, let you guys in on that. And, yeah, so that's it. And I'll bring you back if anything happens. And hopefully it does. And hopefully another PB. Who knows? Oh, well, it's Friday now. I've had nothing last night. Wasn't really that confident with the night bite, to be honest. Um, nobody else has had anything. No one's had anything through the night. Um, to be honest, I don't know. Don't know where they are. I've just come back up to Peg 8 just for the day again to see if anything happens like yesterday but pff, I haven't seen anything show or move or anything down here so I don't I don't know like I said at the start there's only four people on so it could just be that they're holding up somewhere where no one is they could be up in peg four really don't know but nothing was showing last night to be honest either on Wednesday night they were showing down in peg 12 and 1 but nothing nothing really happening elsewhere I don't know don't know where the fish could be don't know what's what's not making them or what's making them not want to feed should i say um i don't know i've put both rods on that yellow pop-up and then the maggots on top so they're both on there on helicopter rigs so i know that 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 hook bait and tactic has has worked because i've had that fish on it and then i've done the same again put some PVA mesh bag of maggots on both rods. I've got my right hander on the exact same spot as I had that fish from yesterday. And then I've put my left hand rod into peg nine just to see if anything anything's in there and if anything wants wants to have a crack. But nothing so far. Unfortunately I am leaving a bit earlier. I'm leaving at four today, so I've got a little bit less time than everyone else. 
Sorry, I just thought I saw a fish move. It's just the wind. Um, yeah, I have got a little bit less time than everyone else. So, I'll have to see what today brings and what it brings down here. But yeah, I will be getting my bucket today because the bailiff is here. And I've been fishing with him. He's decided to jump on for a couple of nights. Um, he's on, he was on the peg next to me. He was on 12 and then I was on 11. Super sound guy. Really nice to speak to. Really helpful, really friendly. Just can't, can't complain with this place really. Everyone around that owns a place is nice, friendly, talkative, helps you out, gives you advice and whatnot. Um, but yeah, the fishing here are amazing, like you've seen in the picture. They're, made, they're amazing. I'd love to get myself another one just before I leave, hopefully today. But if it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen at the end of the day. Can't really do nothing about it. If the fish don't want to feed, they don't want to feed. Um, but yeah, just sat up in peg eight. I've got all my stuff packed away apart from my baby. Um, ready for four o'clock so I don't have as much stuff to put away. Um, but yeah, hopefully something happens today within these five or six hours so yeah hopefully I can get something and to be honest hopefully a couple of the other lads managed to catch themselves a fish because the other lads that are on here they're out they're nice they're chatty friendly and whatnot so it'd be nice to see them catch and so there's not just one one fish that's come out the whole three days but yeah I'll uh, put the camera down now make myself a cup of tea and hopefully hopefully something goes you know what I mean but you don't know I'll, I'll bring you back if anything does happen oh shit yeah if anything does happen oh actually the guy in peg two <laughs> he caught a uh, stocky that's made its way in here he said it was about four pounds so he uh, he just chucked it back at the stock pond because the bailiff told him but yeah hopefully they'll get a decent size fish but yeah i'll put them down now and then make myself a brew and bring you back if anything happens so i'll see you later guys Right, well, that's my session done on Millbrook. Leaving slightly early, but yeah, that's done. Love the fishery, love the people who run it. They're actually, they're amazing. Mint people, very friendly, very helpful. Um, we'll be coming back again very soon, maybe next year, or definitely next year, should I say? Maybe not again this year, but definitely be back next. So, I think it's time to have my bucket chucked on. You shouldn't tell them it's your personal best, you idiot. Oh, yeah.